So it's a great pleasure to be back in Shanghai. What we are hoping to do is really inspire the young scientists to take some risks, to actually uh, go out and have, have a creativity when it comes to the scientific endeavors. You are, you know, a uniquely talented gang of young people and we're relying on you to take care of our futures. A Nobel Prize is always uh, uh, like a big dream for Chinese. So uh, I believe this is really open a window to let us know how can really become a good scientist, how can really achieve step by step and to win the highest prize. And you're looking at a Nobel Prize win, basically, you know, a Nobel Prize winning experiment here. I really appreciate this kind of experience because um, most often you see Nobel laureates, you know, standing from far away, but like this MPII project really brought the Nobel laureates to, you know, near our table. So do you ever felt like a, a pressure that knowing that there are so many other people, you know, progressing in this field, does the pressure ever get to you? That's a very good question. Uh, the pressure does get to you. Let me put it this way. There are, I think there are two places to be which is good as a scientific researcher. One is a, as a total pioneer, be the, be the first. And if possible, be the first in a field where people don't even believe that you're right. So I just wonder uh, if you will feel regret if you haven't got the Nobel Prize. Oh no, no, not at all. <laughs> No, 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 no. The whole, the whole idea is the actual finding things out. Finding out, you know, the, the thrill. You have to do what you want and you have to achieve what you think is good for people. He told us that to explore something new, not to believe all the teacher told us. We decided to, to look, to see for ourselves. Even though this was a you know, very, very important scientist, we, we had the confidence to say, well, actually, we could do this better. I appreciate, especially appreciate his uh, answer. Usually, many people will give answer, study hard, work hard. That's all. My recommendation is to take a really good problem. Dr. Tim Hunt said, OK, firstly, to find a good problem. To find a problem leads ability, leads your talent. <laughs> <laughs> Things that are really interesting questions like, you know, what is the nature of consciousness is a good example of a very bad problem because it's not very well defined and you wouldn't even know when you'd solved it. So what I felt within that auditorium was really the spark and energy uh, among, amongst all the scientists as well as some of the non-scientists in really trying to figure out how we can answer some of nature's questions and nature's problems. The path often looks fairly straight to begin with, but you never know where it's going to go over the other side of the hill. And a lot of the fun of doing science is taking the path wherever it may, may lead.